back to another episode of Sleep Deprived. In this episode, we're going to talk about school. High school, college, all that jazz. Um, we're going to start off with a quote from one of our favorite books, 101 Secrets for Your 20s by Paul Agononi. A college diploma is not your golden ticket into dream job land. And those friends who are uber successful in their 20s are not the outlier. Or, wait a minute. <laughs> they, <laughs> those friends who are uber successful in their 20s are the outlier, not the norm. Oof. <laughs> I feel like if your friend is rolling around in the Range Rover, posting pictures in front of that three-story mini mansion, they either robbed a bank, mm -hmm. making heavy withdrawals from their parents' piggy bank, Heavy withdrawals from a Visa's plastic bank is part of the 0.02% of 20-somethings club that are making heavy deposits of their own. But remember, sometimes it's those who have the sleekest exteriors and the prettiest dining room sets who have the most garbage shoved in their closet. Hell yeah. Eat it. Huh? School. <laughs> How's school been for you? <laughs> right, wait, let, let's let's back it up. Well, I'm not in school. Hold on, I'm talking. I go to Cal Poly Online University. Right. <laughs> Cause um. When was the idea of college first ever brought into your awareness? When my <clears throat> big bro, he was the first one in my family, my whole entire family, my whole Mexican ass family to go to college. Mm. So I, he was, what was? 18? Mm hmm Well, okay, hold on. Let me backtrack. Back it up like juvenile. Yes, okay. Okay. So, when my brother was in high school, like, my par my family didn't know anything about college. Like, they just thought my brother was going to get a job, probably help my dad, where mm. he works, and just whatever. But then my brother realized, like, oh, I think, because in high school they start talking to you about college and stuff, you know? Yeah. And then, so my brother was interested, and he told my mom, like, I might want to go to college. And then my mom, she started going to, like, meetings to learn For about, him. yeah, like, Aww. to learn about college and, like, what it's like. And I was like, oh. And then, when was it? Like, when do you apply? Like, junior? You, you start, I feel like you start getting introduced to the college experience, yeah. like, junior year. He started applying, and he started taking his SATs and everything. And my dad, because he had to pay for, like, something. Yeah, you have to pay to take the SAT. And my dad, he didn't understand, like, why he was paying, or why he had to pay, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then he applied to, like, UCLA, USC, Cal Poly, Cal State Long Beach. And, like, we thought, and my brother has always been, like, a straight-A student. He's the good little, he's a good son. He's the good child yes. between you two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and... I mean, we would show my dad, like, our grades, and he would get, he would be happy, but it wasn't like... Oh, que bueno. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal. And then, finally, like, the acceptance letters, or the rejection letters started coming in, and he got accepted to USC, USC, Cal State Long Beach, and Cal Poly Pomona. That's good. And I remember, like, he was so happy, and I was like, oh, like, he's happy about going to school again. Like, oh, you think you're bad or what? Like, you're still gonna go to school mm. after graduating school? I didn't get... I was 12, and he was 18. And then... But yeah, he chose Cal Poly. And then... Yeah, he started going to college, and I was like, whoa, like, why are you going to college for? And he was like, oh, so I could get paid a lot of money when I graduate blah 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 and then he took me here to Cal Poly and showed me around and I was like oh my god I love it this is like I a love city Cal Poly. yeah and then like the buildings were so nice Every I was like wow this is college yeah wow and then he would let me like help him with his homework and stuff oh. and like I was like ooh I'm smart that's cool and then like so I started getting interested in myself I was like oh hmm Maybe I might want to do this, too. Because my plan was to go to cosmetology school. Like everyone else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, no. 
And then, uh, so then it was my turn. I went into high school. I fucked up freshman year. Got my shit together. And then I was like, you know what? I might want to go to college too because I'm not good at anything else. (laughs) And then, let's see. Oh, back then, going to community college was, like, looked down upon on. Yes. Like, they would never... Dude, I agree completely. Oh, my God. Because I thought... I grew up thinking you have to go to a four-year right away. And then junior came, and, like, I wasn't ready. I wasn't taking my SATs or anything. I didn't know what to do. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to Citrus. There you go. Nothing then, wrong with that. Yeah. And then... My parents, at first, they were like, oh, isn't that, like, bad to go to a community college? Yes, dude. And then I was like, well, I mean, I think it's better because I don't know what I want to do. So I'll just get my shit done there and then maybe transfer. And then they didn't get it. But Mm. I still did it. And then they started seeing, like, oh, it's cheaper. Hell yeah. I could take my time. Like, I was just chilling. But, I mean, I think I said it in another podcast. My dad was like, okay, you're either going to go to college. You don't work. You don't go to school. And I'll help you out. You could live here for free. No worries. Or you could get a job and help mm. with the bills and stuff. And I was like, oh, no. No bueno. And then so I went to college because I ain't working, honey. Well, he still forced me to work at McDonald's, but. To work for school. And for myself, because he was tired of buying me shit. <laughs> hmm. He ain't gonna, you, them nails ain't gonna buy themselves, girl. Yeah. So I started going to college, and I was like, you know what? I could get used to this. This ain't that bad. It felt like high school all over again at first. At first? Yeah, like taking my gym meds and stuff. I was like, okay, I'm just in school again. Mm. And then, oh, I wanted to do nursing. Then Nerf. I wanted to do psychology, because nursing was hard. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should do business. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. And then finally, I had to take, well, I was like, okay, I'll just be a biology teacher. That's a good idea. I could see you as a biology teacher. But then at Citrus, I took microbio. Oh, shit. And I fell in love with my professor because she kind of looked like me. <laughs> Achola? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> But she was just, I saw myself in her. And I was like, wait. And I liked micro. I was like, whoa. Bacteria. Ooh, uh. And I was like, you know what? Does Cal Poly have micro? Well, they used to have micro. They did. Ugh. And boom, I was like, that's what I'm doing then. I was like, thanks, honey. You inspired me. I feel like I just said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I And that feel whole you. time, I, I feel like I, I said nothing. I feel you with, with what you said about like not knowing this is what happens when i'm not in school you are in school i mean yeah kind of oh but we're shut down right now i become a little stupid if you say some stupid shit like that again but i swear me and tony are majoring in the same thing believe it or not so the first time i was ever made aware of what college was was when i was a toddler what the my mom had got she got into usc and she graduated and worked there. That's amazing. Yeah. So she would bring me to work. Mm-hmm. She was the general manager at first at Starbucks. Starby. And then she moved in to work like at a at the one of the buildings there. I don't know. She was a manager of some other I think she was the manager of the cafeteria there. Oh. So she graduated and worked there and I was like, Oh, USC, yeah, that's a college. So I was like, okay. So college is something you do when you're a grown-up. Yes. And I'm like, okay, yay, mommy, here you go. (laughs) So, and then it didn't occur to me again until I was, I was probably a freshman. I was a, oh no, I was in fifth grade. Wow. My dad would start yapping around saying, you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor. He was one of those dads. He was like, you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor or a dentist. And I was like, okay. So (laughs) I would go around telling people at 10 years old, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a dentist. Yes. And then 
I remember when it was like I went to Grapevine Elementary School and we were Grizzlies. So mm -hmm. I was Grizzly of the Week one time in my classroom. And you had to say like your favorite color and whatever the hell. And what you want to do when you grow up. And mm -hmm. I said, I want to be a dentist. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then, <clears throat> and then, um, I remember my uncle, I remember talking on the phone with my uncle once when I was like at the end of middle school mm -hmm. and he was like oh yeah i'm gonna start college i'm gonna start college <laughs> he had gra just graduated high school and he was going to elac and uh east los angeles community college mm -hmm. and he was like and by the time i was a sophomore he had dropped out mm -hmm. so i was like what the hell like okay i guess you can not do college or whatever mm-hmm but this is coming from the guy that thought high school was one year. I, okay. I found out college was four years yeah. when I was in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought, I, and I thought, I, I don't know, whatever. Because oh they were talking about being like a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And I'm like, is this divided into like semesters? <laughs> And they're like, no, dude, that's each one year in high school. High school's four years. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Oh, poor Tony. So, and then my dad started rambling about, like, you need to take your SATs. You're going to study. I remember he took me to Barnes & Nobles. He bought the SAT mm -hmm. practice test. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you're going to do one page a day or one chapter a day. And I was like, okay, like. What college was just forced onto me. The mm -hmm. idea was like you're gonna go to college, you're gonna go to college, you're gonna go to college. And I was like, what? Like I don't get oh, whatever. Okay. So I studied for the SATs, and then as a as a as a senior, I took it. Mm -hmm. I took it at Chafee. Uh, my dad paid the fee or whatever, and and I was like, um, okay, I, I'm, I took the test, and it didn't mean shit, because I ended up going to Chafee anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I remember when the Chafee people would come to the campus at high school, they were like recruiters. Mm -hmm. They would help you set up your curriculum, your pathway when you when you actually started Chafee. Mm -hmm. And so I remember there was like an orientation. The lady was like, all right, if you have any questions, like we're going to be in this room, come to us and we'll fill out like what you need for your general ed curriculum and, and you go home that day and apply to Chafee. And I was like, okay. And then I was in line and everyone was getting their shit filled out by her. Like, oh, I'm going to be an architect. Okay, take these classes. I'm going to be a biologist. Take these classes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to be a dentist. <laughs> and she's like, that's not, we don't offer that here. So pick something, pick something else. Oh. And I'm like, what the, f okay, uh, I don't know. It's like, okay, well, just do GEs. And she just filled it out and said, go home and apply. And I was like, uh, okay. Mm. And then I remember at the time, everyone was getting into, like, different universities. Yes. All my friends were like, I got into Cal State San Bernardino. I got into Cal State Long Beach. And then the UGC rare, LA. like, yeah, the, the rare, per, the rare smarty pants was like, I'm going to USC. Mm. I got a USC. I remember this guy, he got a USC scholarship because he was on the basketball team. Wow. And I was like, wow. I began to feel very lost. Yes. Not lost, but like, like, uh, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. And then my best friend at the time was like, I got into Cal State San Bernardino. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Yep. So I applied to Chafee. My mom had taken a couple extra classes at Chafee to like fill out, fulfill some teaching oh. shit or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, I went and applied and I, and, and I was like, oh, I hope I get in. I hope I get in. <laughs> <laughs> and like they sent me the letter as soon as as soon as I applied, it was an email like, "Oh, welcome to Chafee." I, I got like, in. Like, wow, I got in. Woo, I got in the Chafee. <laughs> so that was funny. And then and then I remember, my uncle he went back to Elac, mm -hmm. and he didn't have internet, so he would call me and tell me to check his grades. Oh, he's like, "Can you check my grades, please?" And I was like, "Okay." Um, molecular techniques, physics, uh, cell and molecular, all A's. 
And Damn. I'm like, what the fuck, Davey? Like, huh? I thought you dropped out and you're like a punk. <laughs> and he was like, no, mijo, like, you gotta, you gotta kick ass in college. Aww. And I was like, okay, like, here I go. And that's when I decided to go to college. Your Theo's a badass. Well, I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for, like, other people. What was your first impression of college, Edith? Well, I felt, I was kind of pissed because it just felt like high school all over again at first. Really? For me, it did. Because, like, Citrus, Citrus and Mountain Sac, because I grew up in LP. <laughs> okay. And Citrus and Mountain Sac are very, like, close to my high school. So you're going to see people, people again, mm -hmm. especially Mountain Sac. That's why I didn't go there. Yeah. I didn't want to see all y'all. No offense. That's fucked up. Love you. <laughs> so I went to Citrus because I was like, there's less of a chance of me running into someone I know. But I still did. But I don't know. In the beginning, it just felt like high school again because I was taking English again. And I was oh, taking... Oh, the GEs. Yeah. History. g -E -Z. And basic psych. And basic bio again. Anatomy. So I just felt... Like, oh, I'm just repeating high school f right now. Mm. What was the first class you took in, in college? English 101. Ooh. <laughs> Which was like the, high, not the highest, but the college level. Because you mm. know how you take that entrance exam? Ugh, the placement exam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I scored the highest you could get in English. Oh my god, I'm so hot and I know speako English, and You're I still did so... it. <laughs> uh-huh. And then, yeah, English... I took this weird, like, freshman class they make you take at Citrus for mm. freshmen. Oh, and Math 150, College Algebra. Because I also placed high on math. Not showing off, though. Must be nice. I'm just good at math. <clears throat> I almost became a math major. What happened? Or we'll get into that. I just changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little much, honey. Um, my first experience was the classroom setting. I uh, I went it went from like the rows of desks oh, with yeah. little tables to like movie theater classrooms. That's true. And, and I'm like, like oh, I'm like, like the movies. I'm like whoa! I'm at the movies, but there's no there's it's just the professor talking. Yeah. Um, I also noticed there was no like, you know how professors are like everyone sh three. <laughs> yes, two, you're adults now. One. Yeah, there was none of that bullshit. Everyone was just like quiet wait yeah oh i still remember like seeing someone eating in class oh and like just walking out to use the bathroom it took me a while to like do that because i was like wait hello like this yeah. person's just leaving the class teacher like stop them <laughs> i remember this guy so the first class i took in at chafee was psychology and there was this guy that sat behind me who was from Austria. And so he had the accent, the talk like this and the go. <laughs> and I remember we were talking about some topic, right? And he was piggybacking off of something that one of another student said. And he didn't say my classmate. He said, I just want to agree with my colleague. Oh, over yes. Here. And I was like, colleague? What yeah. the fuck? He's like, yeah, we're not classmates, we're colleagues. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. So the first class I took at Chafee was psychology, and I fell in love because it answered why I was so weird. <laughs> like, everything they talked about was spot on. Yeah. They talked about, like, the neurons, the brain. They talked about, like, the Oedipus. They talked about the id, ego, and superego. They talked about why we're so weird, why we think this, why we think that. Baby Albert, it just went on and on and I fell in love. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my next point. Majors. What was your first major? <laughs> my first major was <laughs> counselative psychology. Like, what is that? So in the book that we had for psychology. Big word. Hold on, I'm talking. In the first in the first book that we had for psychology, it talked about like all the famous psychologists throughout time, mm -hmm. and it talked about what they each did, and one of them was counselative psychology. I don't remember who, but he was a counselative psychologist. Wait, 
and it said like you just help people understand things and why they think this way and why it happens that way and you help them process mm -hmm. events and i was like i want to be a counselative psychologist that was my first major mine was nursing being shit i know i was literally taking classes towards nursing why because okay when i was little i wanted to be a doctor like every other kid right i want to be a doctor i had my little doctor play set so oh and then oh growing up instead of cartoons like a normal child i would watch this discovery health channel and it would show like actual surgeries so oh, i was big damn. eating eating my food like eating food and like watching guts Some gory shit and my mom was just like oh look at her and, <laughs> oh, such a perfect and i would tell my parents like i'm gonna be that like a surgeon and then my parents were like yeah go for it but they knew honey like this little ass girl and then so i realized being a doctor is hard and then yeah. i realized you still have to go to more school after you're done with school and i was like oh i'm gonna be old so i was like how about and then i discovered nursing oh my god i was god. like oh that's like almost there <laughs> so i was like nursing but then i realized how competitive it is and how scary it is and i regret not having confidence in myself confidence goes a long way because they started scaring me like oh especially at citrus they scare you so much they're like you have to get these grades it's all bullshit. and then we only take 20 people out of 100 applicants and blah 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 and i was like that's never gonna be me oh whatever it could have been so then i was like oh how about lvn <laughs> <laughs> oh, licensed vacational nurse? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, and then Citrus was like, that's just as a competitive, honey. Stupid. And I was like, okay, how about CNA? <laughs> oh. And then they were like, oh, yeah, that's doable. But then I was like, no. It costs like $1,200. So the, the next closest thing was like, you know what? I do like biology. <laughs> the next Not closest really. thing. Not really. So I was like, oh, whatever, bio. Because I took anatomy in high school and I was like, oh, that was interesting. Let me just do that. Mm. And even now with micro, sometimes I'm still like, am I really going to do micro? But I mean. You are you didn't come this far to screw up. Yeah. I, I, so my first major was counselative psychology. But the first time I ever thought of changing the major was like my second semester when I took more GEs. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? I took anthropology, sociology, and some math class. And I was like, what? Like, no, dude, this, this isn't it. Mm -hmm. So I went back to what I was good at. In high school, I took drawing, sketching, painting, and digital art. Wow. So I grew up my entire life an artist. Well, my second semester, I took this class, uh, career planning, right? Mm -hmm. You take this test, you fill out all these bubbles, and then at the end of the test, you look at all these bubbles and you match it with like a number. And that code tells you like what type of career your personality fits best with. And mine fell into teaching. And then the second part of the exam was a different code. And the code was art. Mm. So I would be a teacher. I would be an art teacher. So I was like, oh, that's not a fucking bad idea. <laughs> so I changed my major to get my credentials in teaching and then emphasize in art. I was going to go to San Diego State University while, while, at, while at Chafee. I was going to take my GEs and do my majors. But then I looked at the list. I would have been there for a long time. So I was like, whatever, dude. Like, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. And then the next semester, I signed up for... Um, uh, I needed to take... I needed to fulfill a, like one of those areas for mm -hmm. physical science so i took anatomy mm -hmm. and i was like this is badass oh, wow. but i wanted to keep art so i went to my counselor and i was like counselor counselor i like the anatomy but i want to stay in art what can i do so she she introduced me to this website called assist.org mm -hmm. where you type in a major and it tells you all the schools that offer it and i just typed in anatomy and then um I'm sorry, I typed in art, and I looked at all these schools, it was like bio this, bio, bio illustration, biological illustration. Mm -hmm. So I would create the drawings and the designs and graphics for all the textbooks. Mm. And I was like, pinche, that's the one. Wow. So then I, I enrolled into that, I, I changed over to that major, 
And I was like, okay, the next class I need to take is physiology. And then learning about the body, I was just completely blown away. I was like, I think I want to go full body. So I went back to my counselor and I was like, hey, counselor lady, what is the most popular major for physiology? You know what she said? Biology. Nursing. Nursing. Correct. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to do nursing. So I committed to nursing. I did anatomy, physiology. I took chemistry. Ugh. And I think they require stats and... Oh, can no? No. Oh. Uh, developmental Excuse psychology. Excuse me. So I took all of those. <coughs> oh, hell. <laughs> I was ready to take the NCLX. I took micro and I fell in love with being in the lab. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with being in the lab coat, looking at the microscope, mm -hmm. looking at different specimens and all these tests. By the time I had taken it, I went to my physiology professor, Dr. Diaz, who's still the best today. I see her and I'm like, Dr. Diaz, I can't wait to be a nurse so I can do all this science stuff. She's like, you know what? You're not gonna do any of this as a nurse. No. As a nurse, you're just gonna be dealing with patients, machines, and and just patients and patients and machines. Mm-hmm. And running around and not to say it's a bad job, but she just said that there's no lab stuff. Nope. And I was like what the f dude here i am again at a fork in the road wondering what the hell i should do and she said if you really because she would always give me feedback like you're the only student that comes into my office hours and is interested in the concepts of biology everyone else that comes into my office hours is like i just need to get an a i need to get an a i need to get an a for nursing school yes i, I was the one coming in like wait so this protein does that wow amazing <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said, I want to challenge you to switch over to biology. Oh. And that scared the shit out of me. Because as a nurse, when you graduate, what are you going to do? Seems Nursing, cool. right? With biology, there was no, mm -hmm. there was no like. True. Ass assurance. Yes. So she's like, I want you to think it over and I want you to come back to me. Because I'm also a, a, an advisor, and I'll switch it for you. So I was like, dude, I don't know. I'm scared. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to stick with biology. Oof. And I took, my, I took the remaining... The, the remainder... Huh? <laughs> I took the remaining classes I needed to fulfill a biology transfer. And uh, I applied to... I took like Selimilek. I took all these classes and just took OCHEM and chemistry and, and everything. And um, I had taken so many classes of biology at my time of Chafee, when I transferred over to where I wanted to go, it knocked out all these fucking electives. But mm -hmm. when it came time to apply, I got into like only three schools. I got into San Bernardino, I got into Monterey Bay, and I got into Cal Poly. Yay! I didn't get into Cal State University, LA, Whatever. Long Beach, or Fullerton, because I didn't have the GPA. Whatever. Whatever. No um, one likes them. I actually got into Cal State LA's program, but they said some shit of like, um, since, oh, I wasn't finished with my general eds. Mm -hmm. and, and Cal State LA had just released like a, like we're only accepting transfer students who have a completed AA of transfer. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since I didn't, they were like, we can't, we can't take you. Ugh. So... But I got into Cal Poly. Uh, you sure did. Yeah, so there's that. That was inspirational. How long into your community college, how long did it take for you to start feeling lost? Because I'm sure it started out like a relationship, right? Like, ooh, it's all fun and it's spunky and it's, and there's spice. And then somewhere oh. along the line, you're like, um, yeah, I don't know anymore. When, ooh. Because, okay, high school, I didn't study in high school. I didn't take high school seriously. I got easy A's mm. without really trying. And then, the be <clears throat> oh, God. The beginning of college was kind of the same. It wasn't until I took, like, anatomy where I really had to start studying. And I've never studied that way before. I feel that. Like, that was the first time I was studying, like, for hours and busting all-nighters. 
and Coffee. stuff like that. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, like this is this is crazy. And I started, I was like, can I do this for like four more years? Because this is where I realized like this is only going to get worse from here. It's the test of time. Oh, I only applied to Cal Poly and I got in. <laughs> really? <laughs> this, this is the only school I applied to. I got into Cal Poly with bio. But then, you know the regular bio curriculum? Mm -hmm. it's, Gen bio. No fans. <laughs> but it's like, it's too much. Well, it's like really boring classes that I'm not interested in. So I got scared. Mm. And I was like, oh, oh, like I don't want to deal with these classes. And then it took me a while to switch to micro. But I was like, hell no. I was lost. Because I was like, I'm not taking botany and zoology and all these electives boring classes oh, man. that i don't want to take and then, then i almost like completely switched to like social like psychology or something mm -hmm. just so it could be a little easier no i feel that i remember i remember specifically at chafee i was in the middle of the career planning and exploring class and it just hit me dude i was like dude what am i doing Mm -hmm. I'm taking all these classes that I have no interest in. Yeah. Um, and and I just feel like, I felt like, what you wanted to do, was supposed to just hit you. Yes. And it never did. It never hit me. And I would look at all these people that are like, like at, UC Santa Barbara or UCR, and they're like doing it and they're killing it, and I'm at Chafee and I'm like, dude. Maybe yeah. maybe I'm not cut out for the college life. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there, like, with a Scantron, taking tests, like, well, if I get this wrong, I could just be a hobo. <laughs> I mean, I could just probably work at Target or something. I mean... Contemplate... I'm sure you've contemplated being a stripper. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there is stripper vlogs on YouTube. Oh, no. That I watch sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? It looks like a positive environment in there. It's yeah. not that bad. I felt that lost. I, I went through that phase also at Cal Poly. Yeah. It was in Durant's, la uh, Durant's class. Aww. Studying endlessly. And you're just like, what am I doing, dude? Like, I'm not going to make it. Yes. I, I'm not going to do good on this test. Yes. It was during studying sessions. Never in class. It was always mm -hmm. during studying where I'm like, I'm not going to make it. Like, what am I doing? I'm going to drop yes. out. yes. In virology, I also had that moment. That was the first time ever that I... Because I, I uh, got a D in virology, everyone. Mm. I love I loved Durant. It was just not working for me, though. That was, like, the first time in a while that I got a bad grade. I mean, I was mm. just like, oh, hell no. Like, if I can't pass virology, I ain't going to make it, fam. Yeah. Mm -mm. It was never in class for me. It was always studying. That class got to me. The class got to everybody. <laughs> I was just like, oh, hell, I, I'm not passing this class. I remember I even told my brother, because my brother, he's never failed a class before. And I was like, I'm going to fail this class. Like, what do I do? And then he was just like, oh, just don't worry. It's, you're going to, you're not dying. You're yeah. going to retake it. And you're just going to do better. He calmed me down a lot because I was like, oh, hell no. Like, I'm not going to get FAFSA anymore. Like, I'm going to get kicked Ooh, out. FAFSA. I'm going to be looked down upon on. Yeah. And my brother was like, no, it happens. Just retake it. I feel that. And I was like, oh, okay. I would, I mean, I would go to lengths of, like, listening to motivational YouTube videos that were, like, wow. <laughs> just speeches of people saying, like, you can do it. Like, don't give up. Da, 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 da. I was there, man. I was like, like, ah, oh, my life's going nowhere. Good morning. Just feeling so like I'm not done yet. Everyone else yes. is graduating, and and I'm still taking classes and whatever. But you know what motivates me again when I feel unmotivated? What? When I see like my dad like come home tired from work, mm. then I'm like, okay, this is why I'm going to college because I'm trying to make that coin. I feel that. So that my Mexican ass daddy could just sit in his couch and drink his beer and relax. That's good. That's good motivation. Family. And my mommy too, the queen. That's weird. What motivates me is is kind of not the ordinary type of motivation. There's this movie called The Social Network. 
I highly recommend it to any college student. Uh, directed by one of my favorite directors, David Fincher. The story of Facebook, basically. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, whenever things don't go his way, whether he got dumped, whether a friend betrayed him, what he does is he takes it out on his like academics. He's like, I just got dumped. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna like make a website that people are gonna like love. And he made Facebook because he got dumped. So sometimes like I use that as like a inspiration. It's like, ah, oh, you know what? Like I, I just saw someone doing better than me. I'm gonna use that to plug into my studies and just fucking kill it. It's like, oh, you know what? Like I'm just go I'm going through a rough time. I'm gonna use it towards my studies so that I can like achieve greater. Cause I know that one day this is gonna achieve greater. That's right. I love that. Yeah. And then and then so there was that and there was just like not being stuck, like you said. Like, I know that this is going to end up better for me somewhere along the line. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to In-N-Out and I'm not going to complain how long it takes. Because mm. I'm going to enjoy that bite. You know what I noticed when I first started uh, at Cal Poly? I noticed the students' energy. Oh, I know. It's not gonna you know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> I would be like studying and kind of trying to keep up. And then I look to my right, and it's this guy, like, shopping on Amazon. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? And then, like, whispers, just hearing, like, whispers, like, like in the background, like, oh, bro, yeah, like, I haven't even started studying. What? And I'm like, what the hell? Is this really what university life is? And it, and it was very prominent. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm like, hey, like, like, sorry to bother you. Can, like, did you take the notes for last week? And like, oh, no, bro, like, I, I don't even listen. I just studied, like, the day before. Yes, that reminds like, me of someone. What the fuck? Like, for real? It's weird. And then, like, they, they, they check everything. I check everything. I'm, I mean, I'm not yeah. complaining. And, like, these professors just reading off the slides. Oh, my God. I'm like, dude, if, if I could read off the slide. Yeah. And, and I get that showing up is half the battle, but I could use that time to read the PowerPoint on my own and study on my own like bruh yeah come on <laughs> exactly Ugh. uh and it's just i don't know i had a little sip um, i had this professor <laughs> <laughs> okay that i took that's exactly what she did she just read off the powerpoint i know how to read too remember mm. i would tell you yeah 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 that one. Oh. and then oh once in a while i would show up just to be nice and then she would be like, oh, um, I walked in after like maybe like a month of not going. <laughs> and nice. then she was like, oh, you showed up today. Ooh. And I just looked at her little white ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, decided to show up today. And I sat my ass down. See, I think you stumbled on a very good point. I still the pass that class, first of all. <laughs> I don't. I don't always go to class. No. Because I, I read the lecture on yeah. my own and I take notes. Yeah. But some of these professors dock points for attendance. Yes. And that's where they screw you out of your time that could be better used elsewhere. Yes. And it's sad. I like professors that care. Right. We all love them. But then there's some professors that just want to be too much. Right. Mm -hmm. And they just talk and they're just like... The antibody if the cell <laughs> likes like to You're perform. still getting that paycheck if the, I don't show up. The DNA of the protein and then you <laughs> use it to make the protein and the body. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, dude, I'm going to blow my brains out because I just... No one's paying attention. There's like seven people in this auditorium. Yes. Why am I here? Oh, because he takes 10 points off of all your attendance when you don't show up. Like, we're adults now. We're, we're paying for this. This COVID-19 shutdown, 
I kind of prefer it because it gives the students a chance to learn on their own. Yes. There's no time limit. You're not shoving a 30 slide presentation into 50 minutes. Yes. It's like, here's a presentation. You have two days to learn it. Good Ooh. luck. Boom. Perfect. It's a little weird because I'm taking five classes. So five classes online out of nowhere. Like, you should see my emails right now. Why? Because <laughs> it's just, like, announcements. Yeah, true. Everywhere. So it's a little weird. It's a little hard to get used to. Yeah. But I still prefer it. I feel that. It's just now I have to, like, schedule. Keep up with them. Yeah, my time because I'd be forget. I thought we were out of school. How, how many people that you take okay let's say you take a class right and you partner up with someone how many of those people do you still contact with only one partner ever did i do i st wait two just two so maybe months. like once every two semesters you meet someone that's worth like sticking to yeah because i mean i'll partner with someone we'll get each other's number i'll put them on my phone as biology lab partner mm. damn and then we'll text here and there and, and then, then delete it after the semester's over. I need to go through and delete people. Yes. <laughs> but Richa, I love you. That's and then awesome. Sydney. I love you, girl. My physics lab partner. The glasses. Yes. I know. Love her. her. Nice. She's a bad bitch. She's gorge. Love her. Do you compare yourself to others? Yes. <laughs> did did you compare yourself to others? Still do. During this college life. All my friends either got good jobs. Or they knew exactly what they were going to do. Mm. And then same with you. I was like, what the hell? Me? What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. How do you guys do that? Wait, what about me? Like, you not knowing what you're going to do. Like, oh. if feeling lost. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, the first idea of me ever wanting to be something other than a biologist was when I worked at Chafee. Cause I was a tutor. These kids would come in and say, oh, I'm having trouble understanding the concept of photosynthesis or cellular respiration or how the muscle fiber works, right? I would sit down and I would say, well, how about you start off with telling me what you do understand and I'll meet you halfway. Mm. And they would say, oh, okay, well, you know, I understand that, you know, the sarcomere is from the Z disc and this and that. There's the light band and the dark band and oh, oh my god and that's where i get stuck and i would say perfect okay i'm gonna draw out what you just said and i'm gonna fill in the gaps with drawings so i would draw Maybe. i would put my artistic skills to use in teaching the students I love you. yeah so oh, so when they would come to tutoring they would say oh my god you explain it better than my professor that's right that would make me feel like wow maybe i could teach because one on one set one on one sessions turned into two set two people then three then four and then i began holding after class meetings up to like 20 people what yeah and and i would use the whiteboard i would even make like copies and diagrams wow for, like for example on one of the anatomy classes that i tutored i would draw like a human a blank human and then have arrows pointing to different parts of the bodies for different um, hormone organs, endocrine, the endocrine system, mm -hmm. glands. And I would say, and on the right, I would put like all the hormones and I would put at the bottom, match the hormones to the correct organ and label it or something. And I would make copies of that for them. They're like, dude, no one does this for us. Wow. So that really inspired me to maybe take on the, 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 the career of teaching. That's cool, Tony. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So we'll see. But I guess in comparing myself to others, I do sometimes. Maybe not compare, but really stop and look. Like, like uh, I know people that have graduated already that are working. Mm -hmm. and, and I just like to tell myself that I'm, I'm not living their life. Yes. I'm living my life. And I'm obviously not there yet. They are. And I also like to think sometimes maybe they stopped and they're going to stay there. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm going to keep going. Because mm -hmm. I know people that, are, that have graduated years ago and are working still. And, and, and whenever we meet up, they're like, oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm still working. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah. So, I mean, yeah. there's both. There's like, oh, good job. 
but also you're just gonna stay there I'm not I'm gonna keep going I know people that have graduated and say oh I hate my job already so I'm gonna keep going that's right what's next <laughs> what's next for you Edith in school oh right now I don't know girl you better come up with something you better shit on an idea uh, what <laughs> <laughs> for for sure for sure Z's. I want to be in the lab. Oh, that's a good one. That's all I know right now. So I, I know it kind of where I want to be. That's a good place to start, honestly. Yes. A lot of people can't come up with that themselves. I see myself in the lab. What kind of lab? I don't know. <laughs> Hospital lab? Would you would you wanna would you wanna graduate in the next year or so? Supposedly. Supposedly. Supp <laughs> <laughs> It's supposedly, goddammit. <laughs> Tony! Sorry. English is my second language. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I for sure, in the next year, in the fall, I'm applying to graduate. In the spring. Mm -hmm. So in the fall, I'll graduate. I'll be done with classes. All I need is one more physics and another stats class. And I'll be done. And in doing so, I'm in a research lab right now. I'm in a neuroimmunology research lab. We look at the effects of West Nile virus on the brain, okay. and we try to identify the cells that are most active during we're the infection. We're in here right now. We're in here right now, actually. And I would like to carry my undergraduate research into a graduate studies. Ooh! So, and I would also like to apply for my master's. Well, apply, I'm in the process right now. Here, right? You're yes, the, here at Cal Poly. Thank God. Under the brilliant Dr. Douglas Durant. Oh, he runs a great it. West Nile virus lab. And um, maybe, I, I work in the CMB right now, which is the Cellular and Molecular Biology Resource Center as a student lab assistant. Um, I would hopefully like to find a, a job out there in the field, maybe just prepping some sort of lab, lab technician or something. Um, maybe even a phlebotomist. That would be cool to get actual hospital experience. But uh, as far as schooling, that's, that's all I got for right now. I work at a stock room. That's very important. You repair microscopes. <laughs> I do impressive things, too. You are an impressive person. I do my own hair. I wipe my own ass. <laughs> oh, my God, Tony. Anyway. I shave. Oh, you my... better finish that sentence, girl. <laughs> I shave my dogs instead of who needs pet smart. Ooh, I'm glad you said something else. <laughs> so, yeah. College. You guys agree with what we said? If not, whatever. Drink water. I think everyone's surprised I'm in college. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you're in college, have more confidence than Edith. I'm a micro major. That's so weird sometimes. Doesn't it hasn't hit you yet? No, because I thought I would. Never what? Mind. That's right. Look, if you're a college student, eat well. Did a lot of drugs in high school. Get sleep. Oh, we'll save that for another podcast. Get sleep, Surprise. drink water, you still have brain cells. or you'll be sleep deprived. Sleep -deprived.